Greetings everyone and welcome back to Captain of Industry, the beta release. We're in the first episode of this series. We got the basics up and running. We've got food for our citizens, a little bit more living space. We are, are researching a pace. We have almost gotten through, or actually really almost gotten through, all of the abandoned communication station items, which means we're going to start struggling to produce more construction parts. That's going to have to be a very big focus for this episode. But we have also got diesel being produced, got some iron being produced, we're chopping trees, we're mining iron, mining copper, we're not doing anything with the copper yet. And of course, we are producing crude oil as well. So all things said, we've got quite a lot of stuff going on for us. Now, we desperately are going to need to be able to make our own concrete slabs because the basic construction materials now use wood, iron, and concrete slabs. And we currently aren't producing those in any fashion so let's have a quick look at what we've got we can where would we make we've got cement there uh i am assuming the concrete there we go so we need cement sand and crushed slag or crushed rock and water so there's quite a lot of things that are going to go into making concrete which i'm actually really really excited for that's gonna be really cool but let's work backwards so we want the the cement uh, sorry the concrete slabs are going to be uh, the output of this uh, this production chain. Now, I'm going to give myself a little bit of room, but not too terribly much. We're going to place you about there, let's say. Now, we are going to need to bring in water, and uh, that is going to be an increasingly difficult task, but all the same, let's go ahead and place down two, uh, two, maybe even three Three might be asking for quite a lot. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and... and uh, perhaps we could have it rotated around the other way. Uh, yes, actually, we could. Uh, so we'll have three of these producing the water that we're going to need. Now, sadly, I've already let them build this, which is a bit of a problem. But what we can do is we can have the water snake up and around. It's going to be a bit of a pain, really. But uh, the conveyor belt should help with that as well. But let's go ahead. We are going to want crushed slag and cement. We'd need a lot of crushed slag to be able to make concrete slabs. But it would cut out the sand requirement, which would actually be quite nice. But it will require more cement. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the next one up then. How does one get cement? We're going to need limestone and we're going to need coal. But we will be producing exhaust. Okay. Well, that's uh, definitely something that we can work on. Uh, let's have this... Around here, I'm going to say. Well, we could actually have it directly loading in there. We've got three points that we can load in. Interesting, when I look at this, it only has one point highlighted, though. Um, oh, different needs. So we're going to need to move the cement into this specific point. That's interesting. Uh, the cement is probably considered a different type of material then it might have to go down a different channel interesting wasn't actually prepared for that if i'm perfectly honest i was not prepared but uh okay uh, we'll see how things go uh do i have the room to set this up i think i probably should all right so there's one pipe there space let's give it a little bit more room than that about here we'll do there we are right this will give us all of the piping that we're going to need uh, let's see about setting up the rotary kiln. We can have that set up somewhere nearby. That way the cement can be carried in. So we'll set you up right there. We are going to need a waste gas, uh, a smokestack right about here, I'd say. Pop that there, and then we'll hook that one up straight away. Now, eventually, this uh, I'm loving the idea of how convoluted it's going to become if we want to make use of all of the materials that are available here. It is going to be quite the mess, the tangled web of spaghetti. And I think it's going to be glorious for that. All right, let's get you connected up there. There we are. Uh, this can join up, as can this. That is going to give us a decent amount of water production, but it won't give us any kind of buffer of the water. That is a problem, actually. So let me retool this a little bit before we unpause. Let me go ahead and place this perhaps down here. Um, I could 
squeeze that in there, maybe. It would be a very tight fit, but I don't actually mind that one. So I'm going to cancel that build. And let's see if we can't just squeeze this. Uh, we can. Wow. Uh, we're using every tiny little bit of space. But honestly, on this map, that is that is uh, a, ne a necessity. This is not a map that is built for the comfort of being able to expand out and the usual uh, warning that I give of, you know, don't. Don't forget you've got loads of room. Don't don't squeeze yourself in. No, this map absolutely needs you to squeeze yourself in. So uh, get to it, I suppose. Right, we're going to need lime. Let's get a building, a mine control tower, somewhere around here. Oh, this is actually all quite tall. Uh, let's pop it over here so it's nice and proud of the surface there, and then we'll set this one up. That's a decent enough area there. Perfect. Let's make sure that we're actually mining in there. Uh, I would like it to be even. Okay, we're going to need to rise up quite a lot. Let's get you down to ground level. Somewhere around there. We're going to produce some sand initially. That's okay. Uh, but let's get this all dug out. We'll just go for this area first. And then we'll adjust it as necessary. But we are going to end up with some sand there, which is a bit of a problem. Right, I'm going to need at least one excavator and two trucks. And honestly, if we can just go for crushed slag and cement, this is going to make this all so much easier. But I guess in the early stage, especially considering we're going to have sand, we might as well go for this. So sure, let's uh, set that one up there. Uh, next up, we've got conveyor belts created, which is marvelous. <clears throat> but it's going to all take time to get all of this going. Uh, the next stage then for us will be the... Crusher. Again, fairly simple design. We can take rocks or we can take uh, slag. And I think there is no reason to do anything but use the slag that we're going to be getting anyway as a byproduct. We'll set that one up right there. Now, in terms of priorities, I want this one to have priority, this one to have priority, and this to have priority. So let's get all of those being made right now. It's going to take a little while before the next rain comes along, but that is what it is. Uh, as for research, what do we want to be looking into next? Um, probably settlement water, I'm thinking. Oh, no. Actually, what we're really going to need is the fuel station. Let's get that fuel station so that we've got some dedicated vehicles. Because we've got some dig sites very far away. And currently, our excavators are having to make the trip by themselves all the way down here in order to drop things off. And that is really not very effective for us. Really not very effective. To that end as well, let's, uh, talking about the efficiency of this trip, let's make things a little bit easier on our trucks. I'm gonna have a loose storage and a uh, a tanker for crude oil and coal, respectively. Let's set this one up. I don't want you to export from here, but I want it to be kept mostly full. Just to keep the production of our diesel flowing at all times. That's going to be incredibly important, especially given the trades that are available to us. Uh, with that done, the next step then is to figure out how we're going to be delivering all of this. So this will just be the crust slag. I guess what we could do is have a loose storage over here for sand. Um... I mean, there's every possibility we're going to end up with just some loose sand around the place anyway, so uh, it makes some sense to have this set up. So sure, we'll set this one up for accepting sand. Uh, I will not allow export, and I want it to be kept somewhat full. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and click down here. Now, this is this is really wonderful. Uh, the it's It's a wonderful quality of life enhancement. I've got nothing selected. I haven't picked any of these. But if I click on the output point or the input point of any conveyor, it will select the right type of conveyor for the job that I'm asking it to do. And I think that is absolutely wonderful. And you notice this one isn't suitable for that, so I have to exit out of that first. Then bring this conveyor across. Uh, can we get that to, to hump over? Yes, we can. Marvellous. And then we can just hook that up. And then finally, once again, click here. And draw this up. I want it to be around here. Can I get this to work? Mm -hmm. I can. How glorious. Okay. 
that will give us concrete slabs, which will hopefully mean that we're never going to run out of the basic construction parts, which are going to be very important. I'm going to hold off on the construction of the unit storage until we get uh, the basics taken care of over here. Actually, I'm going to not have them uh, have export turned off there. I will allow it, uh, but primarily I do need to get these devices built now. So that one's going to get priority. This one's going to get priority. Uh, that one won't get priority. Um, honestly, they shouldn't have been delivering over here, but I suppose all they're delivering is the rubber. It's not like they're delivering construction parts. We can't yet make construction parts too. That is going to come very soon. But first, I need to make sure that we've got a source of concrete slabs because we're actually out. Uh, so that is going to potentially become incredibly bad for us. Uh, this we are going to need, so I am going to put that one on priority too. I will assign the trucks to it. We're going to need a lot more trucks. I am a little bit concerned. We've only got four available to assign. Uh, so let's add an extra six. Let's take it up to a solid eight trucks for general deliveries. I think that will help a lot. Okay, now hopefully this will not take over long for us to get built. We are desperately going to need it all. We've got a lot of different projects that we need to get done. They are all pretty much important ones to, to work on. Once we've gotten the concrete slab production underway, I'm going to set up the production of Construction Parts 2. Once that's done, I'll be setting up the uh, production of copper plate to be able to... Uh, to um, supply that industry so we've got quite a few things ahead of us but we've got a little bit of time before we can get on with that so i'm gonna drop a cut here and i shall see you in a few seconds Well, as you can probably tell, uh, we've had a landslide. What this means for us, uh, I don't know if that's going to make this job any harder still, but nevertheless, it's still going. <laughs> Dear Lord, now I'm starting to really, really regret having built all of this so close. Uh, but that just took out all of this mountainside. It is collapsing in a rather spectacular fashion. Dear Lord, what have you done? Just chilling there. No care in the world as half the island just falls down. Wow. Okay, well, uh, brought you back a little bit earlier than I was expecting, if I'm perfectly honest. That's a direct consequence of that. All right, let's put on the slag there. We want this to be a nice high priority so that uh, slag is brought here over being taken elsewhere. But, dear lord, that's rough. Now, sadly, um, I can recover you, but, it, it, yeah, we need we need fuel to be brought over. Uh, is there just no, no diesel available? There's loads of diesel available. I don't quite understand why you're not going and collecting it, but... All right, well, uh, this is going to be causing me a little bit of an issue. Right, fuel station is complete, though. That's very good, but it is going to require the advanced construction parts to get, which is an issue. All right. Well, pickup has no fuel, but there is fuel right here. It's literally there. I don't under... Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah, just because truck export wasn't turned off didn't mean that uh, any of the vehicles thought they could come here and just pick up fuel. My bad. Sorry, everyone. Avac is a dumb. Uh, but our industry for creating concrete is now up and running. 
Uh, that being said, we are going to need to quick... To oh, I was going to quick deliver the components there, but it uh, seems someone else has already got uh, their own idea on what's going to go down here, and they started to collect those components and shift them off elsewhere. If I do get the opportunity to quick deliver it, though, I will definitely get that done. In fact, this kind of needs to be a priority build now, uh, simply because we need to keep that going so that we can actually have uh, the uh, rotary kiln operating because currently it's backed up completely on the uh, the exhaust fumes there looks like this may be completed though another delivery hopefully there we go perfect so the rotary kiln will kick back into action now let's have a proper look at these we haven't seen the while well, the crusher has actually activated but we haven't had a proper chance to witness it in action just yet but I'm really loving the look at all of all of this it's fantastic i'm still still wondering how much of that mountain is is intact is it kind of it went the whole way along okay i mean what was i expecting i guess <sighs> do you have even the slightest scooby-doo what you did i don't think they do don't think they do oh well uh well done i i suppose i mean <laughs> You did make quite an impact, I, uh, I guess. Uh, right, well, as far as getting these up and running, I think we're going to prioritize those now. And this as well. So we've just got the storages up, up and running, so we've got everything on the move in the right directions. But with that done, I think it is time for us to get a new kiln up. Uh, sorry, a new workshop up and running. Let's get you somewhere around here, I'm going to say. Leave a bit of a gap. But let's pop that just about here, I think. There we go. This, of course, is going to be here to make construction part two. And once that's made, all of these conveyors will be built. And I think that's going to be a massive weight off our minds. What I'm going to need over here is coal and limestone. And what I'm going to need here is slag. So I could make some new storages to that end. Uh, coal and limestone can easily enough go down here. I can just uh, have these uh, more or less in position right there. And then slag over here, just with a little bit of a gap. Uh, just right about there. And this should take care of everything we need. Right, let's connect these up. One. Oh, that one actually, actually has to go up, of course, yeah. Makes sense. Can I get that to happen? There we go, perfect. And one of these down there. And sadly... Uh, I guess if I shunted these around just a little bit, I could actually make this work. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, let's grab the pipette tool. Let's pop you in there. And then one across here as well. And this way, everything can be connected up in a straight line. Marvellous. Though, let me actually connect. Uh, let me see if I can get this to work. Will it work? There we go. Just needed to update a little bit. There we are. So this will be for limestone. This one for coal. And that one for slag. Absolutely marvellous. Now, it might actually benefit us to have crushed slag used in other ways as well, but uh, I think this should be okay. Okay. I'm going to allow these to be made in priority, and then we will get that up and running. Uh, we are going to need this sooner rather than later, but everything is moving along uh, at, at its own pace at the moment, and I'm happy to let it do so. We're still not using the copper. I'm just Honestly, at this point, I'm checking to make sure that we haven't had a landslide of iron or copper. I'm paranoid now. <laughs> but that is an amazing mechanic. It has actually made our job of getting it there maybe a little bit easier. I think I might actually dedicate a construction vehicle to doing this. Uh, a JCB to trying to make that slope. I think it might be well worth us doing. Uh, for the time being though, everything is heading down here to get their fuel. Once we've got that set up, we're going to need to get a fueling station. That's actually going to be quite an important one. Uh, beyond that, uh, I'm sort of thinking... We'll split off over here. Either we give priority to the fuel or we give uh, an even split to the power and the fueling our vehicles. And I kind of think fueling our vehicles should have an even split of priority there. 
so in the short term, I will branch off a little something down here into a fuel station. I'm not going to hook this up to automatically receive fuel just yet. That being said, I suppose we there isn't anything really against us doing that. Uh, we are producing enough right now that I don't think that's going to be an issue to us. So maybe I should make sure that our, our ship is getting enough fuel. If only for the fact that we are going to need very soon to get out there and find a oil rig to keep things on the move. All right, so uh, we're back to needing a bit of time to pass. Hopefully we're going to have a bare minimum of landslides happening. Pay very close attention, JCB. No more landslides, please, and thank you. And I shall bring you back when we're ready to progress with the uh, Assembly Electric and start getting our construction part two underway. Okay, as you can see, we've managed to get the uh, Assembly Electric up and running and we are currently producing construction parts too. Furthermore, I have taken care of the most important conveyor belt over here because our trucks actually couldn't get into the rotary kiln to take the cement out, but now that is being delivered automatically. We've also got an automatic delivery set up for sand that we just don't have much sand. Uh, I'm not going to allow trucks to export from here and I am going to tell them to keep this full. Now that that's set up and actually can uh, take away the materials. Uh, this one is set up as it needs to be. Uh, I've also gone ahead and I've set up a pipe balancer over here. I actually do want to give priority to storage of diesel for our vehicle. So this is going to be a buffer for a refueling station and that should help. I've managed to get a fair bit of research done as well while you were away. We've uh, managed ship dock repair, ramps for vehicles, gonna be quite an important one that one, and we are currently working on irrigated farms. Uh, we've already finished settlement water, which is important, but we're not gonna set that one up just yet because honestly, setting up the area needed for the rainwater harvest is actually gonna be a bit of a problem for us. Uh, now, let's have a look down here. Things are going reasonably well, I would say. Though, well, we've probably got enough coal there to last us at the, le at the very least until we're up on the mountain. Uh, but for the time being, things are kind of a little bit all over the place. Now, in terms of our copper, very, very low. Shockingly low. Is there any kind of trade that we can do for that? We can trade 20 construction parts for 20 copper. Uh, it would be worth us doing, absolutely would be worth us doing, but that's going to have to wait a little bit. We're going to need to get that all set up. So right now, our construction parts, like the vast majority of the copper has been loaded in there. Uh, thankfully, we are ahead of uh, our needs in regards to the maintenance depot. So all things said and done, that isn't the worst scenario for us to be in. Uh, nevertheless, it could possibly be a bit of a rough one right at this point i don't want import export well actually i want auto on the import for now uh we definitely don't want export over here uh that should be only taken out via the conveyor belt so now we're just waiting on getting these set up which uh looks like it's happening you know at the pace that it wants to happen at in fact we have now got the delivery over here so that's perfect i'm going to turn export off and i'm going to increase the uh, keep full there that's amazing and now all we need is a way for getting coal in there i'm going to leave that sit where it is for the time being though uh, this one is a priority let's get that one up and running that once that one's done then we've got a dedicated supply of fuel for our vehicles we still don't have the refueling depot yet and that's going to take some time because in the meanwhile I think it's going to be very important for us to get up and running copper smelting. Now, I've probably left it a little bit longer than I should have, if I'm perfectly honest, but nevertheless, let's get all of this on the go. Now, we could, if I really, really wanted to, have all of this fairly close together. I'm thinking, have the pipe... The pipe is probably going to be the easiest one for us to move around, so let's set that one up. Since the pipes are generally a lot easier to manipulate, they can rise and lower a lot, lot easier than uh, than the uh, belts can. They need a little bit more run-up with a belt. And from there, we'll bring it across to here, and then have it go down. And, uh, sure, we'll just have it kind of clip in there. There we go. That's nice 
and easily done. I would love it if the slag could be automatically collected. That would be ideal for us. And to that end, I'm thinking maybe a central channel for the slag to move down. That would probably be quite worth it for us. But for the moment, let's actually set up everything else. We're going to want a copper electrolyzer. It's just going to require water. So, once again, we're going to need a uh, dedicated source of water. Now, currently this one is guaranteed used for this, which might not be the best design now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, it may actually be better for us to have uh, a another pump over here, perhaps, maybe giving priority to uh, the concrete slab production, but draining off any excess water into another tank that can then be collected and, and delivered elsewhere. Because currently this is our only source of water down here. So it's probably going to be worth our while making sure that that happens. So first and indeed foremost, actually let's see, have they made it so you can just place this over? Sadly, no, that would be far, far too convenient. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to branch in here, tell this to be deleted. We'll just delete the whole thing. Uh, there we go, so get rid of that, and get rid of that, and that should only take down a part of this pipe. We'll put in a pipe balancer, and then have the water be directed back into the concrete slab production. This will be given priority. It's not going to have the, the buffer that I kind of wish I'd, I'd budgeted for. Uh, that being said, perhaps I could make it. Let's have a look. Uh, let's first get the pipe balancer in place, so I know what I'm dealing with. Uh, it's all right there. Now, we're just going to need a small buffer of, of water, um, let's say something like this, and then feed it back around. We could totally do that, actually. Um, sure. And perhaps if we do something like this, though, it'll be a little bit kinder on the eyes. So if we set this up and have this side prioritize feeding into this water tank here come on there we go and then this can then come out and directly feed in there we go and then whatever we need to do here we'll we'll prioritize making sure that we've always got a healthy supply of water available to concrete slab because if we run out of concrete slabs we run out of construction materials and if we run out of construction materials everything else becomes so much harder for us to manage but outside of that then we will have another storage tank over here that will accept water directly from here and straight up and that should all work out well uh, at this point i want to prioritize o and we want this to be prioritized as well there we go and hopefully we can get everything brought over there shortly Ooh, what's up with you you are trying to collect water we're going to turn off export we're going to turn off import nothing should be brought down here those trucks should not be trying to get there i wonder what they were doing were they trying to bring water over here i wonder it might have been actually interesting either that or they were trying to deliver oh they're trying to deliver the water directly to the concrete mixer because this is currently uh uh out of action that makes a little bit of more sense. That does make a little bit more sense. But hopefully we should have all of the materials we need. Yes, we've got a pretty beefy backlog of all the materials, except for iron, really. Uh, so we'll easily be able to finish that off in time. So I'm going to just happily let that happen on its own. Now, as for the, uh, the uh, copper electrolyzers, we're actually going to need to deliver the cast impure copper directly into the electrolyzer. Now that can take 16. This can produce in about the same amount of time actually. So we should be able to comfortably set this up as we have done over here. So one uh, we brought it we put it in line with the output point about here I would say. So let's do that the same over here. So there and there. There we are. And now we just need to deliver the molten channel to each one. Go, perfect. And same down here. Then from here, we're going to want to deliver these into the copper electrolyzer and then take that 
on further. But we will want to get the slag taken out of here. At this point, slag is really, really quite important. It's not just a dump material. It's a very, very important material in the, in the grander um, industrial process that we have going. And I really love... I, I really can't stress how much I like the way that the game presently works in allowing you to um, make use of byproducts. The efficiency really, really pleases me. Uh, how are we doing down here right now? Uh, we're almost through all of this. Okay, well, let's uh, expand that out just a little bit then. Uh, let's make sure that we are actually expanding up properly in these directions. There we go. And then we will dig a little bit deeper over here. And by a little bit deeper, I mean quite a lot deeper, actually. That should keep us in uh, with limestone for quite some time. Right, okay, so this one now I would like to be a priority build because we're going to need the water available for other processes. Uh, following that, I would like this one prioritized as well so that we can get the coal down here uh, as we are going to run out relatively soon. Uh, right now, we've, we've actually managed to keep this going quite well, but I feel it, that is in large part due to the, uh, the fact that we're not actually using these concrete slabs much at all. It seems like a very, very uh, resource-rich process. We only need two concrete slabs for four construction parts. Mind you, we are going through the construction parts at a uh, rather worrying pace, if I'm perfectly honest. All right, let's have a look at the copper electrolysis. Now, both of these will deliver the copper in there. And ideally, we also want a water tank as well to make this process even more effective. Uh, let's set this up about here. We'll have it all going down in, in one long column, I think. Uh, so having that about there will do. There we are. And so we will also then need a water supply about here, I'm thinking. And at this point... Let's just bring these out, and down, and straight up and across. There we go, and this one can come out as well. And that will give us room then to bring the water out and around. Perfect. A little bit more involved, but we're, we're basically uh, skipping straight over impure copper. Which I'm very happy to do. Ah, fantastic. Okay, so this one is, you know, you can just take it from here happily. No import, though. That's going to be taken care of. No import or export of fuel down here. That will be taken care of automatically. Now, obviously, we're, we're a little bit shy on that, but uh, export is fine down here. Now, what I would love to do is get a belt going from... Oh, let me just click on that. Sometimes you've just got to remind it what you're going to want from it. There we go. If we can get that up and running, then... Deliveries down here become... Oh, we can quick deliver. Perfect. 100% on that one. That's amazing. All right, let's get that up and running. And at that point, we no longer need any kind of export from this structure. I only want imports because they will be carried down here automatically. And indeed, no exports of any kind down here. Don't want any imports down here. I don't want my trucks trying to move around uh, and, and just catching themselves up all over the place. All right, that's fantastic. Now, what would the repair cost be? Oof. That repair cost is way, way, way too high. There is no way we're taking care of that. Not not just yet, anyway. I think, as things stand, I'm pretty happy with this. I would rather trucks do not import fuel uh, water over here and instead only export it. And as soon as you can export it, please do. Right, we've already got the conveyor belt in there, which I'm actually kind of impressed with. Well done. Uh, we would also then like a loose storage. And I'm going to say this loose storage can live right down here. Because I would very much like that one to be delivered directly from this. So we'll just bring that straight down like that. And much the same. Now, this is the, the part that I was talking about 
in regards to the ease of using pipes. You need so much more of a run-up. The the uh, angles need to be uh, sorry. The inclines need to be so much more shallow with the transport belts. So much more shallow with the transport belts. But there we go. That should get copper up and running. And what we can then do is we can have loose storage over here for accepting the the uh, copper. Uh, the iron and indeed the coal. Now this one is going to only accept slag and I don't want it to import here. I want it to be exported from here more or less as soon as you can and that will be brought down. Oh fantastic this is done. So no more exports. I want this to be kept full if possible. Much the same over here. There we go. And once this is done then our construction industry is in a much much better place. Uh, let's have a look. Can I priority build these? No, not quite. We, we don't have that kind of backlog of uh, advanced components. Not quite. Not quite yet. Not enough maintenance. Oh, well, dear me. Okay. We are actually very low on that. Yeah. All right. Well, I was hoping that we would get that up and running a little bit sooner. Let's have a look at what we can do. Uh, well, I could have just traded for concrete slabs from the the wood that we had available. I am going to need this, so for the time being, I'm going to put a halt on these. Let's uh, pause the construction of these materials. Uh, let's pause this one, this one as well. I'm going to have to pause all of the major constructions that we've got ongoing. And indeed, going to have to pause the production of advanced construction materials in favor of getting these going as quickly as I can. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and boost them. We need those construct 20 construction materials very quickly so that we can get this up and running. Now, thankfully, we've got enough materials for a while. And it, we, we get a good return on maintenance components out of this. But still... We desperately need those to start uh, backlogging. Let's get a little bit more iron down here, ideally. There we go. And concrete. So we're almost there. And with that, we are there. Perfect. Right, let's go straight back to the world map and make our first trade. Let's go ahead and trade over there. Thank you ever so much. That's wonderful. Let's get that uh, copper loaded in. That will actually be down here at the trading dock. Alright, there we are. Okay, now, with that done, let's uh, start unpausing things from the top down. So, this one is no longer paused. But we will probably be having to m kind of manage that. Really, I should have remembered, and honestly, I'm kicking myself for not having remembered, that we could do, uh, that we could trade wood for concrete slabs. I didn't need to prioritize this quite as aggressively as I did. Uh, okay, well, that, you know, lesson learned there. Uh, but we will be producing a decent amount of maintenance supplies for now. So that's not going to, to hurt us too much. Each one copper that we have there is going to produce us 18 maintenance supplies. So that's actually quite good. And we can, uh, we can perform this, um, this uh, production three times a month. Because a month is 60 seconds. And in 60 seconds... We, we we don't even need this to run twice a month to have all of the materials that we, we would need. Right, let's prioritize this. Let's get all of this made as quickly as we can because unfortunately this is going to be a rather expensive build for us and we do need to get it done rather soon. So with that, with the boost that we've currently got working, we're actually utility, uh, sorry, unity neutral right now, which I'm a little bit surprised by if I'm perfectly honest. That's actually really, really good. But we are bringing in enough supplies. We should be able to get this done fairly quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down a cut here and bring you back in just a moment to see the finished article. Okay, and with some very careful management of where my resources were going, we finally have everything running over here and we will be producing our own copper plate. Not a second too soon, I might add. Things were getting a little bit hairy. They still are, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I mean, we've we've only got a tiny amount 
of copper available, but with this delivery we're going to get our first production of 13 copper plates, and uh, at this point this whole process is now going to be running. Well, I wouldn't perhaps say smoothly, but it's going to be running more, uh, it's going to be running better than it was previously. Now this does take 40 seconds to produce even 13 copper plates, so uh, this is a, a concern for us, certainly. Now one of the things that we've got going right now is one iron and one copper is only making 18 supplies, but if we were to upgrade this facility then two copper and two iron would make 45 supplies. As you can tell, a significant improvement and we need every tiny little boost to the efficiency of this production chain that we can possibly get. Are you moving over, copper plate? You are marvellous. Let's get that on the go. There we are. Okay, so now that that is starting to run properly, I'm going to unpause this so that we can get this whole chain moving a little bit smoother, and we're going to unpause the production of construction parts too. Now, not enough workers. That is a bit of an issue, but uh, not one that we can't easily resolve. We'll just turn off one of our research areas right now. I'm currently working on housing too, and that's fine. Oh, we're still shy of three workers. That's a, a little bit of a concern. Uh, all right. Well, given that then, what do we want to disable in the meanwhile? I mean, I technically could disable both labs. Uh, it'll free up a couple of workers. We're shy of three. How much does this need? It needs one. You know what? That will work exactly right. And then we can uh, top up our population a little bit more as well. And who knows? We might actually get some copper from that equation as well. Uh, it, honestly, I could have opened that up earlier. and It only just occurred to me that there is a reasonable chance early on that any uh, refugees who find your island will actually bring along things like copper with them. So that might have been something that we could have looked into to speed things up just a little bit. But uh, right now, the main focus for us is hopefully getting enough components together. Uh, I would like to finish these so that we can have the production, uh, rather the removal of the slag be automated, because honestly the slag is actually kind of building things up, and it does take our trucks a little while then to uh, move that around, but uh, it's going to take a bit. Uh, 13 each, so I'm thinking we're actually going to pause the production of these, and instead I'm going to focus on just stockpiling uh, construction parts too. Oh, what be this? Uh, oh, interesting. We can actually have a look at all of the uh, all of the rest. Ah, oh, I love that. It's a bowl with a whisk to signify recipes. I actually approve of that mightily. Okay, at this point, I'm going to remove the boost over here. We don't need to be using that constantly. Instead, I would like to uh, keep the boost going over there. Let's get rid of some of these. There we go. We've even got irrigated farms now that we're going to be hanging tight on that one. The labs are just going to have to sit as they are for the time being. Now, how are we doing with regards to construction parts two? We're not actually getting that done too quickly, but that's okay. We can speed things up just a little bit, and hopefully we'll be able to get this finished off relatively soon. There was, there is actually a way that I could have just fast tracked that, but that's that's fine. Uh, I don't want to export from here, and I would like water to be brought in, and I want water to always be kept half full. So they should empty this out very quickly for us, which will be marvelous. Not enough maintenance once again, but that is generally okay. Mm, it sort of is, sort of isn't. We might need to run the Unity there. A little bit harder just for the time being but new refugees and they brought along copper oh happiest of days there we are and more importantly they brought along themselves which has given us a bit of uh, freedom with our worker situation so let's go ahead and speed that up just a tad now what we are desperately in need of is of course getting this all built up now i'm not actually sure how much we're going to be able to stockpile here but realistically, the moment I tell them to start building this, it is going to take them a while to get all of the materials out of here. Hmm. That being said, we're already up to 17. We only need 40 in total. Uh, it will it will put us in a bit of a rough spot temporarily while we're getting all of the, this uh, going, but I think it will be worth doing. We've got up to 16 right now. I wonder if it's going to stop at 20. If it does, we're just going to have to tank 
the uh, the short period of time where we're waiting on the uh, the maintenance that we brought in. Actually, no, we can. We, you know what? We're even going to boost this one. Let's get that one all going. We want to be able to push this through. We need just another two, maybe three more passes over here, and we should be good. In fact, at this point, I'm going to say, go for it. Do it quickly. Chop, chop. Move fast. There we go. Start unloading this as quickly as you possibly can. There we go, up to 32. We can quick deliver. Boom, there we are. Everything is done. And we have not got our next recipe, really. Hmm. Oh, no, there we go. It has updated. Okay. Right. We are going to pop the boost on there. We're going to take the boost from everywhere else. We do not need these boosted anymore. Uh, do we actually want this running? I'm going to say for the time being, no. We're going to pause that one. I'll reduce it a little bit, and we can also shut down uh, all of the research that we've got going. But we've actually got a positive unity production, and look at that. We are churning through the maintenance. Okay, so crisis averted. And it was actually a little bit of a crisis there for a while. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna downplay it. That, that, that was a potentially really big problem that we we had there to resolve. And thankfully, we can get both of those quick built. So let's uh, get them going. And we are in so much of a better uh, place now. Right, I'm going to turn off export there. We don't want that one going. And we're going to prioritize this one. There we are. Finally, we have everything running. All of this is automated. We are producing copper plate. We have more or less everything we need to keep the industries that we've built turning over for the time being but we are actually making uh, pretty quick progress through all of the coal over here we're becoming much more reliant on coal as a power source and this is something i kind of want to move away from as quickly as we can i'm presently dedicating quite a lot of our uh, manufacture to this job low not enough ma lies scallywag stop telling me fibs uh we do want to get more of the uh, materials over there as fast as we can but uh, you know it's coming along uh, we've got a bit of copper over here. I'm going to increase the priority for that to be removed. Uh, let's have a look over here. This is a very high priority building. It should be getting the lion's share of pretty much everything. Whenever copper plate or iron plate is available, it'll be sent over there. We have production of concrete slabs, uh, you know, handedly. We've got all that we need for that. We are producing a reasonable pace of both regular construction parts and uh, construction parts too. And at this stage, about the only thing that's left for us to build, let's uh, quick build that, there we go. Uh, honestly, just having it pause and then allowing the materials to build up and then just dumping a little bit of Unity to get it to quick build is uh, uh, kind of a cathartic way of watching stuff build, though it's very Unity inefficient. I would not recommend doing that as, a, as, the, uh, as the norm, but certainly whilst uh, doing the Let's Play, that's actually quite nice because it's like, okay, I want this built now, and then boom, there we go. It's uh, already done. But there we are. All of our outstanding building projects for this episode have been complete. I am extremely happy with where things sit at the moment uh, at this point we have a fluid storage completely full we should be fine with producing copper plate for a time and what i could also do is actually have these starting to be stockpiled in storages from whence our trucks can then uh, collect them and deliver them where they need to be but that is going to be it for this episode as unfortunately we have run out of time as is often the case time has run away with me while playing this game but i do hope that you have enjoyed it and that the uh the little little panic there with suddenly being low on maintenance supplies uh, was an enjoyable bit of drama rather than a than a anxiety inducing one it was a little bit anxiety inducing for me i'm not gonna lie but that is gonna be it for me i really do hope you've enjoyed and i look forward to your comments down below but until next time and as always do take care everyone